When Jesus died to save our souls, to redeem the whole human race, it took him one afternoon. Just a few short hours, I seen innocent little children who suffered more than that. Lingering for weeks, months, their bodies eat up with cancer. Their hearts shriveled into something half dead. And none of them ever deserved it. And I've seen other folks out living the high life, walking hand in hand with the devil. And they got good health. And when they die, they die quick. Lord knows none of them ever deserved that. The Bible says we was all born into a state of sin, and we all got to suffer for it. But sometimes good, decent folks seem to suffer more than their fair share. It just ain't right. Thank you, Tina. Wasn't she wonderful? Yeah! Our next contestant comes to us all the way from Atlanta and was last year's runner-up. Miss April Evans will be performing the waltz in B minor by Chopin. Oh boy, now this don't look like your kind of vehicle. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to try out my new 38 Special. And that piece of shit over yonder, that looks like a real good target. Oh, you're from Atlanta. Yes, sir. Well, 
How do you like Stonewall County? Oh, I, I just think it's beautiful. None of the hustle and bustle of a big city. Everyone's been so kind and friendly. That's very nice. Now then, April, do you have any advice for our young people? They say that some people are born with it all. Well, I just don't think that's true. I think that everyone has a talent and everyone has a handicap. The trick... The trick is to know what you've got and to use it the best way you know how. That way, no matter what your handicap is, you've got a chance to do something great and to be somebody special. We all think you're a very special young lady. Let's give her a big round of applause, folks. Why didn't you finish the job? I got jumped by the parking lot police. They dang near killed me. I reckon you know you're gonna be out here all night. I won't take girl, and I'm gonna have her. What you want with a cripple, anyway? When you grow up, I'll explain it. Piss on you, old man. Piss on you. All right, can we have somebody up here for $500? One round with Evander Holyfield. $500, can we get somebody up here? Come on, fellas. $500 for one round. One round. We'll go with Evander. One round, can we get somebody up here right now? Well, I'll tell you what. Nobody wants to come up. We'll do it easy way. We're gonna blindfold Lavander. Wait, first of all, has somebody got a handkerchief with you? Can we get a handkerchief? Thank you very much. Do you know who I am, sir? No. Did you ever see me before? No. Thank you very much again. Put this on him. All right? Lavander's gonna be blindfolded right now. And what we're gonna do is offer you the same $500 for one round. The box with Lavander. <laughs> Hold it for one round. Here comes the gentleman up here. Come on, fellas. Don't you move. Come on right in. That's the way, fella. Come. Come. Evander, don't breathe on him too hard. You might knock him down. <laughs> That's it. Now you check him. Check him good, son. Check him out. Oh, hold on there. Hold on there, macho man. Wait for the bell. Give me the bell there. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a blind pup. I better not find you around here later. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. One of these pretty young ladies is about to become the new Miss Stonewall County Peach Festival. Are you ready, girls? Okay, here goes. The winner is... Oops, just about tore our winner in hand. The winner is, all the way from Bowersville, Miss Tina Matthews. Why I didn't win. April, I thought we had gotten past all that. 
You could tell from the way they were staring at me that I was nothing but a, a cute little charity case. Hey, hey, you stop that. Oh, honey. I know this last year's been difficult for you. But you have made so much progress. This one little setback doesn't make any difference at all. Hey, but look at me. It took a lot of courage to go out there last night. And we are all so proud of you. And we all love you. Don't we, Daddy? We sure do. You confess your sins like I told you. Oh, Hiram. Everybody all right? April? Yeah, I guess. What happened? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. Thanks for helping us, jerk! They're all yours, Diddy. About a mile north of Donnie's. Damn. damn wheel came off. And I hope with it. Well, how can a wheel just come off? Oh, hell, if I know, I had this thing serviced just last month. You know, I've read that over 100 families a year get lost on vacation and never get found. Bobby, shut up. Well, it was a gas station about three or four miles up the road. I'll go look for some help. Can I go with you, Dad? No, Bobby, you stay here with the women. Dad! I knew something like this was going to happen. I got an RV up the road with a broken wheel. I was just setting out to get some help. Helping people's my business. Uh, up in. Great. I really appreciate it. Well, that was fast. Your father always comes up with something. It's a good thing, too. I sure would like to get home before dark. Mama, Mama, come here, quick. What is it, Sugar? That man. I saw him at the contest. He stood right down front and stared at me. Honey, everybody was staring at you. Not like him. This man, he had crazy eyes. He looked like he was going to eat me alive. April. He looks like a very nice man to me. You did a pretty good job on that, Axel. Ain't no way I'm fixing it here and I've told you back to my shop. How long is that going to take? Oh, well, this little up the road piece won't take long. I'll have you fixed up before you know it. I appreciate anything you can do. See, I got a daughter on board who doesn't travel too well. She's handicapped. Back and enjoy yourself. 
Just make yourself comfortable and uh, I'll go check my stock room for them parts. Appreciate whatever you can do. Huh? Cool. 
stupid mutt. It's the fumigator. That place looks like it's crawling with bugs. Is Jake around? Maybe she's teeny tree. You mean your daddy's been cooking all this time? Maybe she's teeny tree. Oh, for God's sakes. We've been waiting here for a very long time. Diggy Sheesh, Diggy Sheesh, y'all should come. Think I better have a talk with your daddy. So where is your daddy, in the kitchen? Jake? Jake, it's Clifford Evans. Jake? That phone work? I want to call home, tell everybody I'm going to be late. Yes, I'd like this call charged to area code 404 555 76. Any trouble? No, not at all. Got two boys of my own. 
Oh, well, children. I was telling your husband, I can fix your camper, but it's gonna take a while. Uh, the two of you are welcome to come on inside and wait. Well, I, I think we'd rather wait right here until my husband comes back. Well, it's right comfortable in the house. Got new upholstery on the couch, cable TV. Mama! <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Jake, but we'd rather wait here all the same. Well, suit yourself, but it might be a while. Uh, your husband was calling someone, and there uh, seemed to be some sort of complication. Mama Evans? Well, ma'am, it ain't my nature to listen in to other folks' conversations. Lord, I hope she remembered to take her medicine. I better go find out what happened. Can't you see that stupid hick is lying? April, I am so sorry about my daughter's behavior, Mr. Jake. This is really embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. She's a sweet girl. I can tell. How can you believe him? April, you are causing a scene. Don't know when to stop, do you? You're lucky. My young'un's got no mama. You ought to be nicer to yours. You 
want me to get your shotgun to you? Get back in the house, huh? Okay, Miss Safe. Okay, I'll get you, folks. you out of there for your own good. You're suffering from delusions. No,
Your daddy isn't here. You stay away from me. Now, now. I brought you things, see? I'm your friend. What are you doing? I'm just living out of a suitcase. You leave my things alone. Don't worry. I wash my hands with some goop. Where's my mama and daddy? Well, your daddy asked me to watch over you for a while. I had to take your mama to the hospital. Hospital? She was pretty shook up the way you was acting and all, but uh, she'll be all right. Don't you worry. That's not true. They'll be back to get you. Your daddy said he'd give us a call. They wouldn't just leave me here. Now, now. Pretty little girl like you shouldn't cry. Besides, you gonna like it up here in Helen's room. See, that's Helen with the boys there. Uh, we lost her a few years back. The doctor said she needed a new heart, but they couldn't seem to find her one. Oh, there was plenty of hearts to go around, mind you. Afraid not. Uh, I'm expecting some company. Uh, you just settle down and make yourself at home, and uh, I'll be back check on you in a little while. Lizard. Boy, Gator, what you worried about him for? Jake, I think it's very unprofessional of you to have a wild animal roaming loose out here. Wild animal? <laughs> Gator's a pussycat. Come on, he ain't gonna bother you. He don't allow nobody up there in Mama's room. What's she doing up there? You think she's pretty? I think she's pretty. All women are whores, and it don't matter what they look like. Daddy likes her. Him and his miracle cure. All for that slut. You get them medical records? Oh, yes. Of course, of course, yeah. So, was that her? That girl I saw up in the window? Uh-huh. What are you up to, Jake? I've never known you to, to keep a patient in the house before. She's a special case. An unfortunate little girl who needs my help. Yeah, mm hmm This is uh, one I was telling you about, a real healthy little kid. Well, there's a, there's a little girl out in Salt Lake City who could use that heart. Might bring about uh, 40 or 45. I'll bring more than that. Look how well built that kid is. Real active. Hard ought to last 50 years. Yeah, yeah. That uh, woman See. over in uh, Memphis, Miss Crawford. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Is she Crawford. getting long? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's uh, walking up and down the hallways out here. She goes and visits the little children in the children's ward uh, and tells them stories. Oh, she's a very, 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 very kind woman. That's what I like to hear. Need any kidneys? Oh, sure, sure. Always do. Still got a good pair of kidneys. You ought to take them before they get too old. Jake, you've had this one for a long time. His kidneys aren't, aren't any use to anyone. Mr. Stone, uh, I can't see letting all my old merchandise go to waste. Now, I'll tell you what. You uh, take these kidneys off my hand for 15, and uh, I'll throw it in the heart for 40. 
money back guarantee. Or oh, reckon. Come on, Stone. Middle age, uh, man and woman. Pretty good help. Done smokers. Uh, they ain't got a little gut on it, but I think we're good for a little and a few skin grabs. God, this place stinks. Uh, this woman, does she, uh, does she wear glasses? What's that? Does she have good vision? I didn't ask. Well, do you, you mind if I take a look? You mind enough? They're drugged, right? Kick them and see. No sign of cataracts. <laughs> <Jesus> Christ! <laughs> I told you to kick them first. I didn't know you scheduled any operations for today, Jay. You're not dealing with anyone else I should know about, huh? Oh, no. Uh, nothing like that. Just practicing. Don't want to lose my touch, you know. We'll uh, have them parts ready for you in a couple of days. Good. Good, good. I'll, I'll see you then. Roll him on his belly. Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice today for a lost soul has been found. A young man whose life was consumed with selfishness and greed had renounced the world and given his heart to Jesus. Give me a shot, Harm. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for delivering this young man to us. Thank you for making us worthy to show him the path to righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There we go. I knew I'd find something in there. I can feel the spirit staring inside, Brother Bobby, who has committed his life evening after suffering in this whole world. And because of his kind donation, a young girl unfairly deprived of a sound body will be made whole again. Praise the Lord. And all God's children sin. And all God's children Amen. 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 It's only me, Roy. Mind if I come in? It's awful dark in here. This used to be my mama's room. I brought you something. 
It's a book. It, it's about the Pancake family. You can read it if you want to. Go ahead. You see, one day, the, the Pancake family, they escaped from the bakery, and the baby Pancake, it almost gets run over by a truck. And then there's this wolf, and, Why is your daddy doing this to me? What? Keeping me up here. Because he wants to fix you. Fix me? Shh! You don't want daddy to hear. He'll come up here and see me, and I'll be in trouble. What do you mean, fix me? Your daddy hurts me. You know what they're gonna do to you? What? The police will throw you in jail, and they'll rot there for the rest of your life. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Or, or they'll fry you in the electric chair. No, uh-uh. Well, how about if I scream for your daddy? No! That he'll beat the crap out of you. No, wait. I I'll give you something. I want any of your junk. I'll give you one of my special friends. You'll like him. He talks. I don't want to talk to any of your stupid friends. They ain't stupid. I'll tell you what I want. I want my wheelchair. No, I, I can't do that. You better get me my wheelchair. I'm going to scream for your daddy. Okay, okay. Okay. I reckon it'd be all right. Are you gonna get in it now? No. Now leave me alone. <laughs> Come here. What did I say about going in the April room? Nothing. I said not to go in there, didn't I? Come here. Where's that wheelchair? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't raise any youngins. To be liars. Do you know what God does to liars? He sets his tongues on fire. <laughs> she was all upset. So I took her her wheelchair. It's a stupid thing to do. Real stupid. <laughs> you stay out of there. You hear? Yeah. He's gonna whip you good, you little retard. Son of a bitch. I love you. 
you too. He ain't gonna come in. He's gonna stay out there till them chiggers chew his balls off or till he gets hungry, whichever comes first. Well, we'll just have to do it without him, I guess. Good morning, sleep well? What's the matter, cat got your tongue? <laughs> so has my daddy called yet? As a matter of fact, he did. He called late last night, said your mother was doing much better, and he should be down here in a few days. You filthy liar. Don't you come near me. Now, now, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to help you. I believe in helping those that are less fortunate. I think those that have got more ought to give them to those who've got less. Don't that seem fair? What would you say if I told you I could make you walk again? Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. I'm talking about a miracle. See, I can do things doctors can't. Disrespectful to my little girl again. But my arm! Go downstairs and put a band-aid on it.
Don't make me come out there. Please help me. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh. Help me. Anybody out here got a problem? What can I do for you, Sheriff? I got some disturbing news, Jake. Oh? Yeah, see, some of my boys picked up a fella out on Highway 48 last night. Well, I don't mind telling you, he's in pretty bad shape. I wouldn't bring this up at all, except, uh... Well, he keeps repeating your name. My name? Yeah. Really? Wait a minute. See a handsome fella about that tall. Well, I be. Well, howdy, Mr. Evans. Glad you could join us. Got a big day ahead of you. <laughs> that good work, Sarge. Don't you and that pretty wife of yours come over and have supper with us sometime? Yeah, we'll, uh... Have to do that real soon, Jake. Bye now. Are you washed in the blood? Y'all see us liver here, Stone? No, no. No, thank you, man. No. Only clean living to get your liver as healthy as that. But only faith and sacral powers will get you a crown and glory. Praise the Lord! Uh, 
Jake. Jake. Be careful of those arteries. You remember what happened last time, huh? Don't tell me my business, Tom. I'm a trained professional. Yeah, yeah. Dang it, gas him, boy. freezer and get some ice cubes for the coodle. Hiram, you go look at my tackle box and get me some fishing line so I can sew this man up. Watch your step, Stone. Good God! Jake! Jake! Jake, it's the cheater! <laughs> no, 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 no. Jake! Jake! Hold it, Stone. Boom! Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Andre, old rascal, always trying to get attention. There we go. Little fella was hungry. <laughs> Where have you been? I had to staple that man shut. It's that girl. She tried to get out. I had to tie her up. You what? She had the door off. It seems as if she was halfway down the house. You better not hurt her, boy. She was trying to get away. She ain't been nothing but trouble ever since we got her in here. Did he hurt you, Miss April? Imagine. Imagine him treating my little darling like this. I've got some sad for your sore places. My God, April, can you walk? No! Come on, come on, you can walk. Let's try walking. I can't! You're not even trying. How can I help you if you won't even try? Just leave me alone! Walk! I'm sorry, Miss April. I guess we can't expect too much too soon, but just a couple of more injections ought to do you just right. I don't want any more of your stupid injections. I don't want to walk. Now, now. I can't leave you in this room. What am I going to do with you, Miss April? You'll just have to stay in my room. Now, if you don't quit acting so mean, I'll have to gas you again. Is that what you want? That's better. I'll have you walking down the aisle before too long. We'll have a nice church wedding. 
Nothing fancy. Just a few friends and relatives. No! 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 All right. If that's the way it's gotta be. See if I left my vice grips over by the well pump. Roy, please come up and see me. I got work to do. But Roy, I need somebody to talk to. It's so lonely up here. Well, we're talking. Yeah. But I can't see you in the dark. You've got to come up here so I can see your handsome little face. Can you see it now? Roy, you're too far away. You've got to come up here. Daddy don't allow me in his room. And he said he'd whip me if I bothered you again. Roy, you're not bothering me. Roy, you're my friend, right? Yeah. Well, I'm your friend, too. I tell you what, we'll get your book. We'll read your book, Roy. I can't go in Daddy's room. Well, you can stay out in the hall. Just come to the door. That way your Daddy won't have a reason to whip you. Yeah, but... Roy, I promise I won't let your Daddy hurt you, okay? Okay, but only for a minute. April. Come in, Roy. I can't. 
paint. Roy, if you want me to read your book, you're gonna have to bring it in here. Come on, bring it on over. I ain't supposed to be in this room. You can come closer than that, Roy. I'm your friend. Hiram says I ain't got no friends, cause I'm a half-wit. That's not true. That's not true at all. I think you're a very special person. I can't do nothing. Hiram says I got rocks in my head. Roy. Everybody has a talent, and everybody has a handicap. The trick is to know what you've got and to use it the best way you know how. You can do anything you want to do. Boy, I need you to do something for me. What? Let me have the key. I can't. Oh, please, Roy. No. Your daddy's gonna hurt me. Give me the key to the door. No! Boy! Roy, give me the key! You can walk! It's a miracle, Roy. No!
guess you take me for a backcountry fool, little Miss April. Well, you ain't fooling nobody now. Shut up! I make you walk, and the first thing you do is run out of me. Somewhere, April. I used to hear them cry out at night. Did you see Bobby and Daddy? Are Bobby and Daddy all right? Never mind, Mama. Yeah. 
get by me too. They're gonna be all right. I'm a special person. I can do anything I want to do. And I'm going to fix you back up. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you full Trusting in his grace is our Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood? In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Your turn, Harry. Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, Are you washed in, the blood, in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Of the Lamb. Are you 